Welcome to the Morning Nerdy News. I'm your host, Gray Falcon. We've got several uh, kind of interesting but slow going pieces of news, but wanted to go ahead and get this up and out there for everyone. So first off, we did get the Xbox Series X. So we will be able to get on, do some gaming on there, maybe do some streaming with that. We'll see how the camera setup works with this because uh, right now it's going to have to be screen capture only so i'm probably gonna have to get another capture card for that to work so we'll find out what exactly we need to do with that uh but if you have any games or anything interesting that you want me to check out on that make sure you go down in the comments uh, what you want to see me play with that but going on over into some other news uh, we did have christmas so i hope everyone has enjoyed their break hope everyone enjoyed whatever holiday they were celebrating but I wanted to put out there that I did do the PC build. However, unfortunately, it was done on Christmas Day. My brother came over that day, and it was just too much of a madhouse to do it live. So if you go over onto Twitter at the underscore gray, G-R-A-Y underscore Falcon, uh, you'll be able to see the photos that I took throughout the process of building that. And just a quick look here, we have the final build of the actual system there is the inside and the back side of this now one the only real complaint i had about going through this whole build process is this is a fractal case and it has a usb type c plug in the front and unfortunately the tough gaming motherboard does not have a place to plug in in order to take advantage of that on the front side. I was able to plug in and get the typical USB Type 3s plugged in and functioning on there without any problems. But unfortunately, the USB Type C uses a different plug and the motherboard just does not have that built into it. So that's one of those things where you'll have to buy an additional card if my brother wants to take advantage of that later on. So yeah, it's it's a little disappointing. He's also probably going to need an extender because that cord in this fractal case was very short. So getting this to go in and plug in, unless it has something directly on the motherboard that is really close, it was a very tight fit to actually, you know, even be able to pull that through. And if the, if the plug-in was even at the right location to try and get it on the motherboard. So he's going to need an extender if he uses an expansion card in order to go in and take advantage of that later on. That was really the only problem. I did get my new iFixit kit. So you can see here I'm, I'm putting it in. I'm using this to install the M.2 in this particular case. Just showing how the magnet holds it and it's not strong enough to damage any components. So really enjoying having this new kit versus what I had been using with just some old tiny screwdrivers that I've had since geez the 90s so that tells you how old my my repair kit is for this stuff so it's nice to enjoy this new fully custom design type of toolkit for building a PC and working on computers and other electronics so this is a big godsend, I must say, in order to go out and enjoy this rather than what I had been using to do this type of work for this, pulling apart controllers to clean them, all kinds of other things. I got three boys, so not uncommon to have to go in and repair or replace or even just pull something apart in order to clean it. And this is just going to make things so much easier. So that, that was my big Christmas gift that was purchased for me from a family member and Wow, I'm just so happy to have that now. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get over into some of the actual news. So first up, uh, we have from Dbrand, they have announced that they are going to be doing PlayStation 5 plastic shells for the outside. So that's pretty awesome. They put out in an article saying that Sony just comes to us. We're not scared. We're just going to do it. We're going to put it out there. And that's going to be that. Their their case is only going to come in one color right now. It is going to be a matte black. So you can get rid of the white if that does not match the aesthetic of your home. I personally love the white, but the aesthetic of my home is a little bit different. 
I've already got a white case for, for my game consoles to sit in. I've already got other white pieces of furniture in my living room. So it kind of just matches and looks really good in my setup. However, I'm sure there are a lot of setups where that just doesn't mesh well. And given how large this is and the fact that it's going to have to set on top of most entertainment systems, I, I can see where a lot of people are, are going to have concerns with this because it is definitely going to stick out in most cases and be something that is very prominent and stick out like a sore thumb in a lot of cases for this. So there we have it. We, you can go out, set up to pre-order or prepare to get notified when these come out in order to replace your shell on your PlayStation 5. All right, and then we have over on Steam where they have announced the Platinum Steam Games of 2020. So the top games are Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, Cyberpunk 2077 Fallen in second there, Dota 2, all the way down with Fall Guys, Ultimate Knockout, and Destiny 2 at the bottom. But we also see that Grand Theft Auto is still on this list. And <laughs> we're to new Jenna games. And Grand Theft Auto is still sitting here among the top games right there along with Red Dead Redemption 2, which, you know, a bit newer than Grand Theft Auto 5 from the same maker, but still going strong it's very impressive for a game that uh yeah unlike destiny 2 which regularly gets updates and other things such as expansions that come for it seasonal things that are all built in to keep people playing and constant upgrades just for that game to fall in last year and be beat out by grand theft auto i think that is uh that's impressive. And then we can scroll down that we saw Elder Scrolls Online uh, under gold for the top of that one. And I think that's pretty notable because Elder Scrolls has been around for a while. It's a game that's kind of fun to get into. I have never been able to enjoy it long term. I don't really feel powerful in that game. And in an Elder Scrolls game, I want to feel powerful. So it's been one of those things where I go in, I experience it, I enjoy the world for a little bit, and then I kind of give up on it. So it is what it is. I, I'm I'm far more interested in Final Fantasy fourteen for that. So if you like an online MMO game and you haven't tried that one out or it's been a while, maybe go check that one out. I think that one is a blast to play through. Uh, Boulder's Gate is on here, which is technically a game that hasn't even come out yet. So Boulder's Gate 3 that's selling really well uh, my son played through everything that was available on it it's something i'm looking at getting ready to jump into he said uh it was fun but he wishes that there was more to it going forward but of course the game isn't technically released yet so he is going to get that additional product that it, those additional things that are going to come through to it so it's one of those give and takes where it's like he technically has an early release copy and all he got for it was some some early gameplay that was really buggy. So that's it's going to be up to you whether or not that type of situation is really worth it to you. But it seems like a lot of Steam users are really enjoying that experience. And then we can drop down to the silver games where Team Fortress leads the way within those. Assassin's Creed Odyssey down at the bottom of that. And we have Hades sitting in here. So that's a game that has supposedly been very good. It was among the games for uh, Game of the Year for a lot of those competitions. So maybe that's something you want to go in and check out. Rust is still in here. Planet Zoo, City Skyline. So a lot of these smaller games. Microsoft Flight Simulator. I I'm not entirely surprised by this one being kind of lower on the overall thing i feel like a lot of people probably picked it up for free over on game pass for pc if they were going to play that so you know not a whole lot of reason to go out and purchase it on steam when it comes included with something that you can you know spend 10 bucks a month on enjoy and if, if you love it you can buy it later on and if you don't love it you only put 10 bucks into it and you can go play something else that's on that game pass instead and down into bronze you know get into things like football manager stardew valley which topped this one far cry 5 sits in this area star wars squadrons which 
newer game there. I'm surprised that's kind of so low on the list, but it is selling for like $20 less sometimes. So yeah, just a whole lot of games down here on the bronze. So you can feel free to come in here and take a look at that or go over onto Steam and look at it through there. And then finally, we have Netflix's new early Cobra Kai release date is a gift from the streaming service. So if you haven't heard, Netflix has announced that Cobra Kai is going to be coming out on January 1st. So it's coming out a week early. So if you're a fan of this show like I am, if you love the old Karate Kid movies and you haven't had a chance to check out the show, it is over on Netflix now for the first two seasons. And I'm really looking forward to see where they go with this in the third season here on Netflix. So make sure you go over there and check that out if you are a Karate Kid fan in any way, shape, or form. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I might stream some Destiny 2 later on today. Plan to get to the gym and start doing some of that stuff, though, while things are probably a little slow over there. So that, that's kind of my plan for today. But that's going to be it. Remember, if you haven't already, click the follow button. If you are watching this over on YouTube, make sure you click the subscribe button and follow me over on Twitter as the Gray Falcon. Until next time, have a good one.